Hello guys, welcome to the HLA channel. My name is Gustavo, I'm I'm PhD in immunogenetics, currently working as a field application scientist, FAS, FAS, and this is my FAS life. I'm making this video for two reasons. First, I went to a laboratory that is not located in a capital city, and to get there is quite an adventure that I love. Second, the demonstration was about an HLA kit that will change the HLA type in the world, and I will show it to you here. If you want to skip the introduction part and go directly to the kit, kit presentation, you can go to this minute here. But keep watching, the video is very short, and I'm sure you will love to know the place I went to. Ready? So let's discover! I went to Barretos, an inner city in São Paulo state, and it's different because it is a small town in a rural area, the countryside of Brazil. To get there, you must go to Ribeirão Preto city, which is a bigger city, but still with a small airport. And here is the first adventure. Take the plan. I can't say the plan is old or not safe. By the way, this type of plan is safer than a normal plan, a turbine plan, you know? But this type of plan with propolis makes us wonder if we really want to fly. During the flight, we can see the propolis behind us, which makes us a little uncomfortable. But the flight is wonderful. As the plane flies at a lower altitude, we can see the landscapes, the lakes, the rivers, the cities. Well, this is when we are not taking a nap. But we can also see the farms, sugarcane, orange, soy, much probably the orange juice you drink or the soy from your Doritos came from here. The second part of the adventure is to drive. After landing in Barretos, we must rent a car and drive to get Barretos. And here is the best part of the adventure. Good roadways, nice landscapes, farms, big farms, beautiful sunset, it's a nice drive, and I love to listen to local music, the country music, that is common there. By the way, they have the bigger country party in Latin America. The Hospital de Amor is an interesting case of success. In general, we don't have such big and good hospital in small cities in Brazil. But because of the vision of one man, today, Hospital de Amor is a reference in cancer treatment, not only in Brazil, but also in the world. It's a non-profit institution and receives many donations, including from famous country singers in Brazil. And we can see their, their names in some builds, actually in all the builds, to honor and thank them. By the way, Hospital de Amor means Hospital of Love. Cute, no? Well, after a late flight, after the air company lose my luggage, after realizing I had booked the wrong hotel for that one, 
I could finally start the kit demonstration. And this is not a simple HLA kit. This is an HLA typing done with Oxford Nanopore technology. Nanopore is a long read sequencing that became even more useful during the COVID-19 pandemic for its practicality and speed. The sequencing is done through nanopores, where the DNA strand passes. When a DNA fragment is entering a nanopore, each DNA base is disrupting the electrical field with a specific signature and can be used as a single molecule detector. The deconvolution of the electrical signal is done using a base color converting the electric signal into a DNA sequence with a FASTQ output format, like Illumina-based sequencing. One major advantage of nanopore sequencing is the long reads, facilitating the phasing of even long-distance SNPs resulting in fewer ambiguities. The equipment couldn't be smaller. It literally fits in your hands, as you can see in this LinkedIn post from my friend Vinicius Steller. It is portable. You can sequence everywhere or even carry it in your pocket. You just need a flow cell and the index, the barcodes from Nanopore. And of course, the primers and software provided by Omixon. Omixon also provides the analysis software and support for training and troubleshooting. And I can tell you, they have the best support in Brazil and Latin America. The protocol is so simple. You need a PCR, but it takes only two and a half hours. After that, you must quantify the amplicons using Qubit from Thermo Fisher or Quantus from ProMega devices. It is important this quantification is done by a fluorescent method like the ones mentioned above. Quantification using Nanodrop, for example, gets inaccurate results. After normalization, where you add water to the amplicon to get the same concentration, you add exosap, a reagent for cleanup, taking the non-incorporated reagents off from the reaction. This step is also very quick. By using the Exosap Express, for example, the time on the thermocycle is only 5 minutes. And here comes what is, for me, the most impressive in this technology. You know we need to cut the DNA, repair the ends, attach the barcodes to the, the, to the DNA. And usually, we take many steps in the current technology. But with nanopore technology, we do all these steps in just one step. And the most, 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 most impressive, it takes only two minutes on the thermocycle. After exocet, you simply add the barcodes which contains, contain transposases. The transposases will cut the DNA and the barcode will be attached to DNA. Yes, it takes two minutes on the thermocycle. Once your DNA is with the barcodes, you can now pull all the samples in just one tube. It is done just by taking all the individual samples into a 1.5 ml tube. With this tube, you will perform a new purification step using magnetic beads and a magnetic rack. These will select some fragments too, but here we don't avoid the longer fragments. Actually, we like the longer fragments, and we try to avoid the very short fragments. And here is a big difference to Illumina. While with Illumina, we select shorter fragments, between 400 and 1200 base pairs, with Nanopore, we simply discard avoid the fragments below 1000 base pairs. For example, there is a quality parameter in Nanopore that measures the fragments that are greater than 2000 base pairs, at least. So, we use much bigger fragments with Nanopore, and this is the reason we see fewer HLA ambiguities. Well, we were talking about the purification step. 
the size selection using magnetic beads. And this is a simple step too. All the steps here are much simpler than Illumina based steps. Here we just mix the library with magnetic beads, incubate for 10 minutes, 5 minutes at room temperature and 5 minutes at the magnetic rack, wash with alcohol, 2 washes of 30 seconds and water and your library is done to the next and last step. The whole step takes less than 20 minutes. Up to here, the whole process takes about 5 hours. I will repeat, the whole process takes about 5 hours. This is amazing! You, st you start the protocol early morning and before lunch, your library is ready to be sequenced. Well, you need a very last step, which is to mix your library with the Rapid Adapter, a reagent from Nanopore. It takes 5 minutes, and while you do this step, you must prime your flow cell, preparing it to receive your library. You must substitute the storage buffer that is protecting the array and add the sequencing buffer that will help your library to be sequenced. By the way, I made a video on how to prime the flow cell. You will see that this is, is also very simple and quick, as everything here. The link to the video is in the description of this video below. You can find a video on how to wash the flow cell too. The sequencing takes 12 hours. It can be done overnight. When you arrive at the lab next day, you have the FastQ files to be analyzed in the software. The results are quite good. With this kit, the introns are taken off from the analysis, which makes the analysis much faster and simple. And let's be honest, we don't need the introns to release an HLA result in high resolution. The three field HLA results that the software provides are much more than sufficient for a kidney or even a bone marrow transplant. Well, this was a short video to tell you a little bit about the Nanotype Kit, the newest kit from Omicron that has the potential to, to change the way we do HLA in our labs. There are more videos about Nanopore and Nanotype in the channel and you can check them now for a better understanding of the theoretical, theoretical and practical parts. If you liked this video, give your like and subscribe to the channel. You know this is my hobby, but your feedback drives me to do more helpful videos for you. See you next time. Bye bye.